Once you open this video, you are about to explore 57 extremely satisfying LEGO tricks and they're gonna blow your mind! Ready for some master building techniques? Let's go! Let's start with simple ones. If you have these axles, you can put them this way to create extendable fidgets. Extend and retract, very satisfying. The next one has a perfect sound. We will spin it to one direction, it forms a spiral. It's simply ASMR. Let's make dominoes out of Lego bricks. Not pieces, but the real domino effect. It's easy to knock it down, but hard to make the fallen rows stand up again. But with Lego, you can basically do anything. Make the whole row stand up again. Easy peasy. Okay, the next one involves a little bit of history, because this is the earliest form of a lock. It also comes with three keys. I made this a LEGO version, and let's try which key could open the lock. The round key is too wide, and the blue key is too short. It proved that only the red key could fill the gap perfectly. When we advance to the fifth one, the lock also advanced to a modern style. This LEGO padlock also has three keys, but only one key could do the job. Take off the shell, you will find this lock to be functional, because the blue tiles will block the wrong keys, and the gray key could not turn the spring-loaded pin. So only with the correct shape, a key could open the lock. Let's keep it up with some mechanics. I made a push-push button, which means you could switch it on and off simply by constantly pushing this button. Here comes another button, different shape, but the same satisfying. And similarly, this is a switch to Carbon Frizz Han Solo in a LEGO Star Wars set. This is a LEGO magic trick, and you'll find that the red axle spins through the gray pin. If you observe carefully, you may find out why. If you feel bored watching this video, here is a useless box. This LEGO box is perfect for you when you feel bored. This effect is made possible by using LEGO pullback motors. Wind up the motor and reset the yellow lever. Then you can play with it over and over again. Want to have some fun? Try this sliding puzzle. It's called the Klotzky, and I made it with Lego bricks. You can slide the blocks in four directions, and the goal is to find out the specific pattern with the extra piece. Try to reorganize the block, and with some efforts, you'll discover that it says some pro. But if you want more than having fun, it's time to spin our wheel of fortune. Money, cars, iPhone 17, and even the magic lamp. I made this Lego wheel of fortune so you can magic press it, spin lamp. the wheel, and lift up the stop magic wheel. Lamp. It spins pretty fast, iPhone. so it's all about luck. Diamond. Ice cream. Ferrari. Next, we are making guns on warships with a few Lego parts. I made multiple units, and they are interconnected, rendering a synchronized motion. As we move on, let's do some illegal building. First, we're making a circle with these parts, then we attach these to the circle to fortify its strength, make it roll, and the sound is oddly satisfying. For this fidget, I'm pretending to reload a revolver. No, actually I'm building a large-scale universal joint. Connecting three axles with standard-sized universal joints, we can get a fully functional large universal joint. Next one is a weird machine. It is smooth, but it is kind of useless. However, a friend of mine asked me to make a larger one for him. Back to the basics, I made big LEGO gears with LEGO slopes. This structure was to connect the flower petals, but in this case, it will also do the work. Adding more gears to the motor, and you get this LEGO transmission box. As you push the connecting gear to the top, the RPM rises to its top speed. Next is an old-fashioned clock with a pendulum. Attach the pendulum to the clock, and to make it work, you have to wind it up with this knob. Then you can hear the sound of tick-tock. Let's make use of LEGO rubber bands. This is a useful tool to spin the spinner tops. Make a simple spinning top with a LEGO gear, and it could spin for a very long time. Similarly, 
I made a small vehicle relying on the elasticity of the rubber band, and it moves just like a pullback car. Lego parts are made of plastic. Plastic is hard, however, with this method, we'll be able to create a soft feeling Lego fabric, which is satisfying when you bend or twist it. If I get more of these, I really want to make a robe out of them. This Lego tambour box also has a soft ish feeling. The cover moves like soft cloth when I open or close it. It's smooth and it's satisfying. Lego has a lot of unexpected functions. You can even make a squirt gun with pure Lego bricks. It sucks and ejects water as you spin the knob. If there is no water, we can even create water with the Lego bricks. I mean, with this mechanism, the blue plates are just like the waves in the ocean. Now let's play some IQ challenging Lego games. This is a box with a small opening. The goal is to place the two twisted bricks inside the box. You'll find it really difficult because once you put one brick inside, there is no room for another one to go inside. The correct way to do this is to thoroughly twist the two bricks. This will create room for both of them to go through the small opening. See, they are intertwined. The next game is to interlock these three blocks. You have to place them in an X, Y, Z coordinate and assemble them. Then they are interlocked. Try to explain this puzzle to me. The triangle is made of a few Lego parts, but when I reorganize the parts and form an identical triangle, a Lego part could not fit in. How is that possible? Okay, now we are making a cube in this base with these blocks and we have to keep its surface smooth. We have to arrange position and angle for all of them. Finally, we can find the only way to make a smooth cube. The final puzzle is called the spiral and it's kind of against your intuition. The goal is to remove the yellow handle, but simply following the spiral is no go. The gray ring blocks the way. Actually, the correct solution is to move through the gray ring and turn 90 degrees then you can pull out the yellow handle. Very strange, right? Let's play with the Lego Piranha Plant. Remove the head and then find a way to make it bite. The easier way is to use parallelograms. Extend and bite. A more complicated way is to make it into a clamp. But it's so much fun. I can't wait using it to bite someone's butt. Next, we could make use of these new worm gear parts. Place them 90 degrees and spin smoothly or use them as a conveyor belt. A Lego ball would be a perfect match. This is a trick to reveal a hidden message. The red and yellow plate appears to be a mess, but if you put it behind the white grill, the hidden letters will appear. You can also find hidden recipes with Lego, like this crafting table. I'm turning gold ingots to a gold block. Wedge plates are also versatile parts, and they make beautiful patterns. To make this star, you could connect the wedge plates either ways, and they are exactly the same. To make more beautiful patterns, we could apply techniques of Lego tiling, fill the gap with slopes, it is truly satisfying. Another technique is to use cheese slopes, squeeze them into the gaps, and they perfectly align with the edge. This is my personal favorite tiling. The next one is to cross build the bricks to form a carpet-like effect perfect for a Lego office. The last one is to leave the gaps to Lego cones. Next, we're gonna explore some genius ways to use Lego arches, like this jigsaw puzzle. First, we could use a 1x3 arch to match the shape. Two half arches can be connected with 1x1 one one plate, and arches can work with slopes, and they can work with upright tiles, because tiles can fit into the gaps of the arches. Arches could match with different shapes, including windows and even round bricks. If you make a circle with arches, no matter what their size is, there are always round bricks to fit in. If you make an olive shape with slopes, there is also a way to fit this shape into the arches. Half arches can work with slope bricks, and plates can make half arches at the same level. Also, this part can match with slope seamlessly, which makes it a perfect mock for the motorbike. The 
last two tricks go to my own creations, the pixel paintings of Mona Lisa and the girl with pearl earring. They act as the photos of my Lego camera.